right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue year nine with our Vancouver Canucks. We've made it up to the trade deadline here, and uh, I think it's time to make some changes to this team. I want to really win that Stanley Cup this year. We're in year nine. We had a few close years uh, last year and two years ago now, or three years ago, one of those years. Uh, but I do feel like with the team that we have right now, we're going to run into the same problems that we ran into the playoffs the last few years, okay? So let me get, let me just give you guys a little bit of a recap. Yeah, you know what? Hang on. Let me go back to uh, stats, because the weird thing about stats was goals against and goals for were not bad, but our special teams is absolutely horrible. So if we could improve on that, we'd be that much better. Goals for per game were down there in 12th in the NHL. Not horrible, but that's what I'm talking about with the power play. If the power play goes up, that will go up as well. Uh, goals against per game, look at that. We're third best in the NHL, okay? So if our penalty kill gets even better, we can drop that. Uh, well, it's too late now in the season, but still, we can stay there or get better. Uh, look here, power play percentage, 17.3%, 17th best power play in the NHL. If we can get that into the top 10 or start playing like we're in the top 10 going into the playoffs, that would be a lot better. Increase our goals for, and this one, penalty kill. I mean, that's that's crazy. 22nd in the NHL, and yet we're still a third best for goals against average, right? So if we could work on our special teams, we'd be a much, much better team, okay? So I have that in mind. Um... Let me just uh, show you guys what our line changes look like for the uh, the power play and the penalty kill. So right there, the power play, Sarich, Mackey, Druin, Tarky, Suter, Reinhardt, basically the same as the offensive lines. And you got Pulock and Edler, uh, Jones and Ekman, Larson. Okay, so we got to figure out how to get that going. And then the penalty kill especially. Going into the playoffs, I really want to have the penalty kill under control. You got Suter, Ernie, Hart to Kanan, and Faxa. Now, I checked out our best defensive players. You guys were saying take out Hart to Kanan. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to do that because he was like the fifth or sixth best forward. Um... And I have an idea here that kind of goes into what I'm doing with the trade deadline, okay? Now, when it comes to the trade deadline, uh, I was seeing plenty of different, uh, you know, different different things for Jonathan Drouin. You know, trade him for Tavares, trade him for Stamkos. Uh, Jake Vertanen was another one from the uh, Calgary Flames. I'll show you this guy. Uh, I was actually looking at him. Uh, Jake Vertanen, and ooh, they actually want to trade away Barchese. He's only 28 years old. They want to trade him away? It's probably because they got Vertanen right behind. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Sven Barchese. He is available, and he's a big-time player. Jeez, I didn't even notice that. Uh, how many years left? One year left on his deal of 7.5. You know what? He's going to want, like, another $8 million contract after that. No, I'm not going to go after Sven Barchese. Um... Another thing is like uh, Vertinen, right? I'd like to go after uh, Jake Vertinen, but they don't want to give him up. And, I mean, look at that shooting category. Dear God. How many 50-goal uh, seasons? He's had a 48-goal season, 39-43, and he's on pace for another 30-something goal season this year. So this guy is a stud. Um, but the only thing is they don't want to give him up, and that's way too much trade value uh, to get back, you know, like if I don't have anyone that I can trade for, basically. Um, Barchese, though, I didn't even know that. I might be able to go after Barchese. But I had an idea. I was looking at another player here from the Edmonton Oilers, okay, as a forward. And it's not the Nuge, it's not Everly, it's not Yakupov, it's not Hall. It would be Mikhail Grigorenko. His trade value is nice and low. I can easily get that player. Only 26 years old, so he's not getting any better. One year left on his deal, so I can negotiate a good contract after this year. And the reason that I like him is, is because shooting category, five star. Everything's in the 90s except for that slap shot accuracy. That's not horrible, though. Puck skills, five stars. Passing's up there at 90. Uh, senses is five star. Good discipline. And his poise is already there, so he's already ready to become a playoff performer, right? And then what I really like is defensive category. He's got a four-star there, 84, 82, 85. I mean, that's serviceable. That's a lot better than Raimo Tarki. Uh, physical category, three-and-a-half star, and skating category, four-star. So Mikhail Grigorenko, um, definitely a player that I was looking at, someone that could replace Raimo Tarki, okay? Because when it comes to Jonathan Drouin, I think I want to hold on to him for one more year, and I want to try him out on the penalty kill, like you guys were saying. Put him on the penalty kill, maybe he can uh, get a few more shorthanded goals, increase his goal totals for the year, all right? But now that I'm looking at Barchese, I just I don't know if I can afford it. That's the only thing. Um, how much cap space do I have for next year? Hang on. Let me just actually figure this out right here, boys. Uh, 4.8 million. Um, no, you know what? Nah, Sven Barchese, you're pushing it if you're going after Sven Barchese, okay? So I'm not going to go after Barchese, even though that was a, a great contract to go after. 
we're kind of giving up our franchise makeup if we go after Sven Barchese. You know, we're a young gun, te uh, young gun team that has made it to the Stanley Cup Finals twice in the last three years. You know, it's I don't want to go up there and blow up the team, you know, just because you can. No, I'm not going to do that. So let's get to the trade deadline so I can make trades um, with players that the other team doesn't want, stuff like that, okay? And, um, man, it's going to be hard to do because Rymo Tarki is our leading goal scorer, but I've made the decision, boys. All right, I want to hold on to Jonathan Druin. He's got a really good defensive awareness. I know he's a better player for the uh, the playoffs. Rymo Tarki, he's been a little goal scorer for us. He's got a... He always gets consistent amount of goals, but his his plus minus is always way down there, okay? And for the amount of points that he gets, he should have a much better plus minus. I'll show you guys quickly. Uh, right wingers. Rymo Tarki, right? Okay, so we take a look at Rymo Tarki, and if you guys can remember, Mikhail Grigorenko, right? That's where we're comparing these two guys. Tarki is two years younger than Mikhail Grigorenko, so he's got that bonus right there, but he's only four-star. Grigorenko's four-and-a-half star. His shooting category is great, all right? Mikhail Grigorenko, basically the same thing. Low slap shot accuracy, everything else in the 90s. I think Tarki is slightly better than Grigorenko. Uh, puck skills, his passing, though. You see that about Tarki? His passing down there at 82, that hurts everyone else on the line. Grigorenko had like an 89 or a 90 for passing, okay? Uh, discipline, Tarki, 72 for discipline, but it doesn't really get penalties. Offensive awareness, 87, but then poise, 76. Grigorenko is a lot better in the, in the census category. Defense, and that's the major thing that I'm looking at when I look at Raimo Tarki. Defensive awareness, 77. I really don't like that. Physical category, only three-star, even though his body checking is quite nice. Everything else, I mean, three-star, not the greatest. And his skating, he ain't the greatest there as well, okay? So take a look at his season stats. 20-goal season, almost a 30-goal season. Looks like he's on pace for an almost 30-goal season again. But, you know, he's always like a, a plus four, a plus nine. Take a look at his playoff stats. You know, I mean, 16 points in 22 games, that's great. Eight points in 12 games, that's great. But again, uh, minus two, three, zero, plus five, you know, like... He's not, he's not way up there, and if I compare, hang on, let me just show you guys that I'm not talking out my ass right here. All right, we'll compare it to a guy like Vili Mackey. Take a look at uh, Vili Mackey's uh, plus minus. All right, you know what, actually? Well, you know what, that doesn't count. Vili Mackey's on the first line. Let me find somebody who's on, like, the third line. Uh, Radic Faxa, he'll be one. All right, let me find Faxa. Let's see what his plus minus is. Uh, there you go. Like, on the third line, plus 12. Uh, down here, yeah, that doesn't matter. Uh, no, never mind. He had some bad pluses as well. All right, you know what? I take that back about Tarky. Trying to find another player. You know what? We'll get uh, Jonathan Druin. That's what we can uh, compare him to. Let's see how Jonathan Druin's plus minus is. Um, all right, see, that's what I mean. Yeah, Jonathan Druin, 21, uh, 12, 8 in the postseason. He's not that great either. But um, I can kind of understand with Ramo Tarki because of his low defensive awareness. Jonathan Druin's goddamn defensive awareness is 97, so I want to keep Jonathan Druin. His passing category ain't the greatest either, but he's still got one more year getting better, right? So I want to see what he turns out to be next year. He's only got one year left on his deal, so we can sign him and then decide to trade him after that, right? Um, so I want to hold on to Jonathan Druin, but I want to go after this uh, Mikhail Grigorenko. Okay, I've already made my mind up for the playoffs. I know exactly what we're doing. So, let me get Mikhail Grigorenko, right? First of all, we trade away one of our defensemen, Ryan Pulock. Yes, it's time for us to unload Ryan Pulock. We drafted him in our first year, seventh overall. Uh, he's had a good uh, tenure here, okay? But um, he just hasn't turned out. I mean, he's 26 years old. He's still only 82 overall, okay? And because we got Gilbert Benoit in the uh, in the AHL, I want to bring him up for the playoffs. I got to pick somebody to get out of there. It can't be Ravenko. can't be Jones. Edler's going next year. We can use him to trade for another player. Um, so Pulock has got got to be the guy to go, okay? Seth Jones is already getting points anyways, so Pulock, I think Pulock was from the WHL anyways, so maybe he's going back home. Um, second of all, Rymo Tarki, all right? Mikhail Grigorenko is just going to replace Tarki as a sniper for a sniper, okay? I know you guys may have your problems with that, but I'm making that decision. Uh, next we got to give, yeah, because I got to unload some salary cap for this year. Also, we can unload, uh, Clint Windsor, all right? Four years left on his deal, but we like, uh, Sergei Bobrovsky as our backup. If we, uh, have injuries this year in the playoffs, whatever, but I want to free up that 1.6 million, okay? So, trade away Clint Windsor as well. And is there anyone else that I can just throw in in this deal? Um, I don't, I don't think it'll go through like that. Uh, you know, we could try it. Hang on. Uh, I'm going to have to probably get a goalie back. And they got okay, good. They have plenty of crappy goalies. I'll grab this guy, Peverly, and still doesn't go through. So I'm going to need one player going back the other way. Hopefully this does work. 
this guy in the red font. There you go. All right, so that looks like it could go through. Grigorenko, trade values there. These guys are nothing. All right, Windsor, Tarky, Pulock. All right, you know, I might be able to get a draft pick out of that as well. Let me try to get a first draft pick for uh, next year, okay? So we're giving up some core players here, you know, in Tarky and Pulock, but we're getting back a secondary sniper who can hold his own defensively that if Jonathan Druin stops scoring goals, hopefully Grigorenko can uh, step up and get a few as well. Okay, so thank you, Pulock and Tarky, but let's see if this goes through. No, it didn't. It just, uh, oh, oh, yeah, we're in the, fuck. I hate that. Now i got to put everything in again. God damn it. Uh, I'll try the uh, second round pick. Uh, that's one thing that I do hate about this. Um, so we'll add that. Uh, Grigorenko. We will get uh, the goalies back in there. Peverly. And who was the other guy? It was just uh, yeah, one of these guys down here. All right. And then we got Rymo Tarki. We have Pulock again. Hang on. We have Clint Windsor. There you go. And, yeah, we're getting for that uh, second round pick for this year. So, if this doesn't go through, I'll say screw it to the draft picks, okay? So, will it go through? Yes, it did. All right. So, I'm happy to accept this proposal on behalf of the Edmonton Oilers. And we consider it a done deal. So, thank you, Pulock. Thank you, Tarky. Thank you, Clint Windsor, for your service for the last, what, nine years? Tarky hasn't been here for nine years, but you know what I mean. All right. And welcome, Mikhail Grigorenko, to our team. And Gilbert Benoit is coming back up as well, okay? So, I don't need to make any more trades. I like the rest of our team. Team. I think we have enough depth. I think we have everything we need. Maybe I can take a look at our roster and sign a few uh, free agents just to put them down there in the minors if we have any injuries to deal with. But uh, no, I like our team. I like the way our team is right now. And with Mikhail Grigorenko, you know, it's a bit of a change. But I wasn't going to go into the playoffs again with the exact same team. I mean, we've had three years in a row now with the exact same team, basically. We made it to the Stanley Cup Finals twice, but still haven't been able to beat those Carolina Hurricanes. And I want to actually uh, take a look at the Carolina Hurricanes, make sure they're a playoff team this year. I'd love to face them in the finals again. Where are they, actually? Hang on. Uh, t -t 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 yeah, they're in sixth. Ooh, come on. You, you guys better make the playoffs. Doesn't look like they're going to win that presidents, though. Um, okay, so let's take a look at our roster. And uh, I guess I don't want to do best lines. It might force me to do best lines now. Uh, okay, so we got Goddard and Bobrovsky. Okay, I'm fine with that. Defenseman, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it already brought up Gilbert Benoit. Good. And forwards. Uh, no, I don't want Kelman up here. There you go. And is that enough? Machinter? Yeah, I think it already brought up Grigorenko. Yes, it did. All right, so we got enough. Um, so let's go in and edit our lines here. So what did it do? Did it already go? It already did best lines. Yes, it did. Okay, so let us go best lines again. And let's put it to what it was before. Druin, Mackie, and Sarich, right? Grigorenko, Suter, and Reinhardt. That's what we're going to have on the second line. Uh, Grigorenko, what-handedness? Left-handed? I think he is left-handed, right? Yeah, left-handed, so we'll put him on the right wing. All right, we'll leave uh, Reinhardt on the left wing. Adam Ernie, Radic Faxa, and Hartikainen, sure. And then Callahan, Weiss, and Machinter. Yep, that's about right. Defensively, Edler and Ekman Larson, Murray and Seth Jones, and Ravenko and Benoit. Yeah, the best lines is setting up the, the, uh, the team the way I want it. This is perfect. Uh, Drew in Mackie Sarich, Reinhardt, Grigorenko, and Ernie. Um, saying to put Ernie on the power play. I did need to shake it up. It doesn't have Suter in there, but you know what? Ernie's got a really a really good shot. I've noticed that when I looked it up. Like, he's got a five-star shot, for God's sakes. Uh, you know, we'll try it out. Adam Ernie on the power play. I wanted to shake it up anyways. We'll try it out. Uh, Grigorenko, how are you on the face-offs? 63. What about Ernie on the face-offs? Uh, 75. We'll throw Ernie in the middle. There you go. Seth Jones, Ekman Larson, Edler, and Murray. Yeah, that works. Four-man power play. Mackie, Druin, Grigorenko, and Sarich. Sarich, how are you for uh, 60, 70 overall? Yep. You can take the face-offs on the second line. All right. Penalty kill now, okay? So it has Druin in there, Faxa, Suter, and Ernie. Yeah, those are the four best guys it was saying before. Um, is there just anybody that I should be using down here? I don't need Hart to Kanan. Ernie, Faxa, and Suter, and Drew in. Yeah, and then everyone else has better time anyways. Yeah, that's, that works. So, yeah, we'll go with Ernie and Suter on the first, and then Faxa and Drew in, all right? So maybe Faxa and Drew in can really get it going. We'll leave that, and then Suter and Faxa, okay? Goddard in the net. Uh, extra attacker, Sarich and Drew in. Okay, yep. All right, we're good to go. Chicago, best lines. There you go. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll set that back so we can uh, get to the uh, playoffs without me going to line changes. 
we're strapped for time here, and I wanted to get the uh, the regular season wrap up done afterwards. So for forwards, we got oh yeah, we have a 78, a 78, a 74. We got plenty of forwards that we need for depth and defensively. Yeah, we had 78, 78. We got plenty that we need. And goaltenders, yeah, James could actually come up now and play the backup if we have a goaltender injury this year. Okay, so we are set for the playoff run. Yes, we are. The last thing that we got to do is just try to make the playoffs. I think we should be able to make the playoffs with this team. Uh, it doesn't matter what line changes I do. I mean, an elite goalie, a backup goalie, you know, how many first-line forwards that we have. A uh, record 35, 22, and 6. Yeah, we should be able to make the playoffs, no problem. So, let me just go to settings and let me change this thing around. Yeah, yep, yeah, this, there you go. Now my uh, assistant coach will automatically take out the goalie for the backup every now and then. So we'll get that done, and yeah, we'll go to the end of the season now, all right? So where do we sit in the Western Conference? We sit in second place with 76 points. I find that hard to believe with that record. I'd imagine we just have more games played than other teams right now, but if we can continue to win, if we can keep those regulation losses below 25, which I don't think it's going to happen, all right, we already lost our first one, but... Um, as long as we keep the regulation losses below 30, we'll be a playoff team. And that's seven regulation losses. All right, shouldn't be a problem. So our leading goal scorer now, because we traded away, what's his name? Uh, Raimo Tarki is now Jonathan Druin, who's barely got 20 goals. All right, Jesus. All right, well, it's time for you to turn it around, Druin. I, I decided to stick with you. We traded away Raimo Tarki, okay? I mean, there was a few rumors surrounding the Vancouver Canucks with Jonathan Druin's name floating around. John Tavares is out there. Stamkos, like I was saying before. But his defensive awareness is way too good. He's got one year left on his deal, so we can get a good contract with him this year. Hopefully. If not, we can trade him. Um, but I want Jonathan Druin to do good, man. We drafted him, what, like third overall or whatever it was this uh, in, the, uh, in the first year? This guy, man. He's 26 years old. It's time for him to step up. Or he's 25. He's turning 26. This is his last year before he gets better. It's time to step up, okay? So don't worry about the end of the regular season. We're going to be a playoff team. Grigorenko is up there with assists. Damn, he took over for Mackey. I guess he was tearing it up on Edmonton playing alongside Yakupov, Hall, the Nuge, and Everly. But it's all right. You'll get some goals here on the, uh, the Vancouver Canucks. You've got some good players to, play, uh, to be playing alongside of now, too. And look at that. Billy Mackey, he's taking over the goal-scoring league. 23. This year was kind of a weird year, though. It doesn't count because we made that trade at the trade deadline. And I, I don't know what it is about Sarich, Druin, and Mackey. Our second and third line were doing great this year, but our first line was underachieving. But that's not a bad thing necessarily, right? You're getting a lot of depth goal scoring. There you go. Druin, man, you only have like a few more games left. Come on, make it respectable. Get up to like 28 goals. You can have a good last few games here. Come on. We're definitely a playoff team, boys. Two more wins. We got 99 points. There you go. One more game, and we got 99 points. Come on, Druin. I don't know if there's any more games after three. Get at least two more goals. Get to 26 goals, all right? Oh, my God. 6-3 win. Jonathan Druin doesn't get a single one. Let's go, Jonathan Druin. Step the hell up. All right, he got 25 goal season. All right, fair enough. That's good enough. A 25 goal season is a very good season for a goal scorer. It is. Anyone disagreeing with me? Have you scored 25 goals in the NHL? I don't think so. Um, what were we scouting for this year? It was the WHL had everything in it this year, right? I think so. Yeah, top five, top ten. Yeah, that's it. And then the defenseman, top ten, top ten. Yeah, all right. So we'll go back to forwards. Six weeks. There you go. I think we have uh, Detroit's first-round pick this year or New Jersey. I can't remember. Whatever. Uh, the Calgary Flames. Oh, look at Jake Vertanen. 41 goals. So I know you guys are thinking we should have gone after Jake Vertanen, but still, I'm happy with this team right now, okay? There you go. So we finished the year with 47, 26, and 9. Pretty respectable record, okay? Our regulations didn't even come close to 30 games, so that's good. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, 112 points and 103 points, okay? That's a very respectable year for the Vancouver Canucks. It's not that President's Trophy winning year, but you know what? Technically, we're still a very young team. We're getting better. Guys like Seth Jones is coming up now. Um, but you know what? It's been a good year for the Vancouver Canucks, absolutely. So let's simulate just to get um, make sure there's no other games that are be being played. And look at that. Oh, my God. Isn't this just freaking perfect? We're up against the Edmonton Oilers, the team that we got Mikhail Grigorenko from, and now you got Pulak, freaking Clint Windsor, and Rymo Tarki that are just waiting there to spoil my day. Oh my god. I swear if they ruin it, if we get beat in the first round and it's because of Pulak or Tarki, I'm gonna flip. 
I'm gonna flip. All right, so um, let us do a regular season wrap up here. Stats, team standings. Um, I know I showed you guys this at the beginning of the uh, the video. This might not have changed that much. Goals for per game. Look at that. We jacked up there. Okay, so we started scoring some more goals. Fifth in the NHL. That's good. Goals against per game. Third in the NHL. So that's good. We had a good year. Power play percentage. All right, so that stayed the same. Uh, penalty kill percentage, that slightly went up maybe, but that's uh, still not the greatest. And we're going into the playoffs on a 7-2-1 streak. So pretty good, and we got a good away record as well. So pretty good year this year. Uh, player stats for the season. Now, let's see. What did I say? 70 points for the first line, 50 points for the second line, 30 points for the third line. Okay, that's, I mean, if you're if you're talking about like a perfect year with like top-notch goal scoring and depth goal scoring, that's what I look for. Very hard to get that, but that's what uh, that's what I'm going to be going for. So, Billy Mackey, he gets the 70 points in the first line. Again, Mr. Consistency. Uh, Mikhail Grigorenko, can't really tell. Uh, 84 games played. I don't know if he played first-line minutes with the Edmonton Oilers, so we can't really tell there. Uh, Saric, 64 points on the uh, first line. All right, I, I would like that to be better, but it is. he's still a 20-goal scorer, so it's decent. Suter, 50 points on the second line. That's more than enough. Jonathan Drouin, 58 points. That's not good enough. Uh, Reinhardt, 47, so almost 50 for Reinhardt. Not bad. Uh, let me just go for forwards instead. Uh, Reinhardt, Faxa, 35 on the third line, so he had a great year. Same thing with Ernie, 30 points on the third line. Callahan, 29 on the fourth line. Weiss, 24 on the fourth line. Hart to Cannon, 23. Look at that depth goal scoring. Dear God, everyone on my team had at least 20 points. That is a very good year. Jesus. We'll go to plus minus. Uh, there you go. There's all the plus minuses. I'm not going to read them out for you guys. Faxa, plus 20. Yeah. Um, defenseman, let's see this. Uh, Ekman Larson, there you go. That's what I got him for. 45 freaking points. Seth Jones, rookie season. Well, not a rookie season, I guess, but pretty much. 41 points. Edler, 34. All right, look at these guys. Plus 45, plus 33. I mean, Jesus, these guys are tearing it up. And goalies, Goddard, 69, 69 games played. Goals against average, 2.20. Very good. Um, could be a little bit better, but it's still very good. I'm not going to complain. Uh, wins 41, 19, and 3. That's an outstanding. And a save percentage of 92.5, okay? 10 shutouts. So I really can't ask for more out of our goaltender, okay? So I like the way our team is playing. I like the way this is right now. Um, you know what? Yeah, we'll end it on the, uh, the playoff tree. I don't want to lose any of this. We're pretty deep into the video, okay? So there you go. We got our year nine playoff set up. Uh, round one against the Edmonton Oilers, Pulock, Tarkey, and Windsor versus Grigorenko. That's a story, okay? So hopefully we can beat them. Hopefully we don't have any problems. But we got a story that's brewing. Hopefully it's a good one with a happy ending. All right, boys. So round one, that's up next. I will see you guys there.